This is our sensorial lesson on the binomial cube. The binomial cube to your child is just a puzzle. It's a neat sizing, grading, and dimension, and color matching work, but the binomial cube is used later on in older classrooms to actually teach very concretely the binomial theorem. Here's what you'll need for the work and how to present it to your child. What you will need for this work is the Montessori binomial cube. It consists of many different pieces in various schemes of colors and sizing. And here's how you'll present this to your child. First, you'll want to take the lid off and show the child how to take all of the pieces out because you want to group them by color just to help with that sense of order. Always start with the all red cube. This is red, this is black. Let's find a piece that has red and black. So they'll find it. Red touches red, black touches black. And then I like to put my finger just to show that they're the same height. And this will be important, especially when you get to the trinomial cube. This is blue. This is black. Let's find a piece that has blue and black. Blue touches blue, black touches black. This is red, this is black. This is red, this is black. Red touches red, black touches black. And then you put it back into the puzzle container. And the kids love trying to do this. It's challenging for those little hands, but they love mimicking how you show them how to do it. Next, the all blue. Blue, black. Blue, black. Blue touches blue, black touches black. And then repeat, blue, black. Blue touches blue, black touches black. And then the red piece, red, black. And then you can invite your child to try. Of course, this is a material where your child might get a hold of a puzzle piece and get it where it's taller than the blue, where it's not exactly meeting up. Really try hard. It is so important to let them figure it out. Be there for them, but if a piece isn't put together properly and they notice, wait a second, that's not how it looked like before, ask questions. Say, well, are they both the same height? Or is blue touching blue? Is black touching black? Just ask questions, guide them a little bit. If they get frustrated, then you can say, would you like me to show you? So that they still have control and then show them what's wrong and, and what happened, because it's not wrong. It's all about self-discovery. So let them really try and figure it out. Even if they have the pieces incorrectly placed, but don't look frustrated, they look intrigued, let it go. Just sit and watch and it's fascinating to watch a child solve their own problems. And that's what this puzzle is about. If they still look intrigued and not frustrated, sit back and see if they can figure it out on their own because this is a very self-correcting puzzle. They will ultimately figure it out. Again, let it go unless they look frustrated. Enjoy this material.